everyone. I'm Randy Clark and with me is Dan Spear. We're going to update you on some exciting changes coming to PC Mover. Laplink PC Mover is the easiest way to move everything you want from an old PC to a new one. We reduce the hassle and anxiety for consumers and we save the typical business over $300 of labor on each new PC deployed. Dan, you want to take us through some demos here? Here we see our standard PC Mover startup screen, except now we have an AI assistant over here on the side. We can pop it up at any time. This appears on every screen and it allows you to ask any sort of question that you want about PC Mover. For example, I can ask, uh, do I need a special transfer cable? The Laplink AI assistant will give you the answer in simple English so that a user can understand what he needs after I click the go button. There we get the answer. Explains about how you don't need a transfer cable if you're going over the network. If you want to use a USB cable, you can. There's special USB cables and so on. Gives a complete explanation of what you want. This is a context sensitive help that's available on any screen of PC Mover to give you assistance when you need it. We'll set that away a little bit and look at some other places that we have AI integrated in with PC Mover. I'm going to set up a, uh, a, a simple transfer here. We see once we have the information from the other machine, there's a customize your transfer button again using AI for PC Mover. So now we can ask questions about and make modifications to what's going to transfer. I can say, for example, what applications are transferring. Wait a few seconds and it then comes back with a list of what's transferring. It mentions specifically that Office is not going to transfer and it lists a number of other applications here. So we'll ask, well, why is Office not transferring. And I'll explain because a different version of Microsoft Office already exists on my computer and so it's unsafe to transfer. Well, I'm going to make modifications. In this case, I know it's okay. So I'll say transfer Office anyway. And then mention another application up here, Family Tree Maker. I'll say don't transfer Family Tree Maker. And it's very friendly way of saying, sure, I'll make those changes for you. We can do the same sort of thing with user transfers. Say what users are transferring, because PC Mover, of course, will transfer every user uh, the account that you have on your machine. And so it lists that there's two users set up to transfer, and there's one that is not going to transfer. But I'm gonna make some changes to that. So I'll say, don't transfer Testy or Bob. Don't transfer any video files. And it's gonna process that request and I'll say, fine, we won't transfer testy, but it points out, no, Bob isn't one of the users. And so we'll ignore that. We'll make sure no video files are, are transferred. We can look at the pending changes. Here's where PC Mover has you confirm everything that we understood from the AI engine that we're not gonna transfer. We are gonna transfer Office. We're not gonna transfer Family Tree Maker and make these other changes as well. So I will accept these changes and they are applied now to the transfer. I can verify that they're applied by going to our standard PC Mover customized screen. AI is not the only way of doing a customization. We have our standard customization as well. And here we can look at the applications. And sure enough, we see that Family Tree Maker is now marked as not transferring, whereas Office is transferring. Note these other little AI buttons here. Let's take a look at this. This is another way that AI is integrated into PC Mover. If you get confused about these, click on this and it explains what the application is. Notepad++ you know, is a popular text editor and so on. Just double check the other changes we made, user accounts, testing the test phase is not transferring now. And the very advanced file filter we requested for video files, the video files are not gonna transfer either. Everything we asked for in plain text is going to be applied to the transfer. So we'll go figure it out and proceed with the rest of the transfer. And once you're about to start the transfer and it gives you the final summary before anything goes, there's one final, chance to interact with the AI to ask more questions about the interface, about the transfer if you haven't done so, so far. And this is similar to what we've already seen. There will be another button like this at the end of the transfer that allows you to review what got transferred and other information about the transfer that just took place. So we can see how AI is going to give you a friendlier interface, a more powerful interface in many ways, uh, but we will still have all the same customization capabilities and, of course, the same functionality of PC Mover that we've always had. Back to you, Randy. 
Thanks, Dan. Now, specific to PC Mover Enterprise, AI is unlocking some unique opportunities. When PC Mover is performing a migration of data, settings, and apps from an old to a new PC, it analyzes both the old and new PC to determine what is available to transfer and what should be transferred based on its algorithms and defined policies for the organization. This provides the opportunity to aggregate PC Mover's findings into a repository and allow IT staff to gain valuable insights about the PC refresh project and the devices involved. Examples of the findings an IT person might see in the past week, data transfers took 78% longer than is typical for this project, or that the, the time until the project update is finished. How about in the past week, two new PCs were identified that had atypical hardware, or in the past week, one old PC was identified that had unlicensed software, or sensitive information has been found on an old PC. This is especially important when you think about unmanaged devices in an organization. Think about a PC refresh project for a company with 100 small field offices of 10 to 20 employees in each location, or if you're replacing 2,500 laptops used by professors at a university, giving IT an intelligent view of what they're trying to manage has massive potential benefit. And of course, there can be more highly structured reporting as well. Thanks for joining us, and please reach out with any questions or inquiries.